guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here kindly remember to subscribe like and share today we are on another episode of cooking kindly stay tuned thank you today we are preparing traditional chicken accompanied with kels and ugali ugali is a is a meal made in kenya it is a kenyan meal so here we are bringing our traditional chicken to boiling because with traditional chicken you have to boil it first to boil it so good so that it can become soft and tender before you add your tomatoes and ginger and the rest stay tuned so you take half half teaspoon of chicken masala this is from tropical heat add it with salt according to your liking and mix it with a little bit of water you mix it you then this mixture you're going to add it to your boiling chicken to prepare our meal these are the ingredients and the spices that we need we have garam masala we have garlic powder we have chimbundiro. Chimbundiro is a natural food seasoning made in Kenya by Kenyans. We have thyme leaves. For thyme leaves, you can use these thyme leaves to prepare any of your meat dishes, but you use it in little amount. We have paprika. Paprika is pili pili ho ho. We have kandamom. Least but not last, we have tomato paste. You, you have to measure these according to your liking, maybe one and a half teaspoon. We have salt to taste. For the ingredients to prepare our meal, we have two red onions. We have three to four tomatoes. We have paprika. This is the raw paprika. And then we have four to five pieces of garlic. And then for ginger, you add it according to your liking. And then we have coriander leaves. For coriander leaves, we add it to our last moments of cooking. And then we have red, red and green pepper for taste. For ginger and garlic, you will have to pound it. You can use a blender if you have a blender to blend it completely. First things first. So you have to keep checking your your chicken while it's boiling if the if it is ready to to go to the next step. So to know if the the chicken is well cooked, you take your knife and then you try and get into one of the pieces. So when you see some juices getting out of it, then you know it's well cooked. To keep on going after the water is all done and you remain with your chicken apparently my chicken has lots of oil so i won't be adding any other oil to my chicken you have to add your your red onions to your chicken now and you fry them until they brown they become brownish in color you just keep on turning and turning and frying them you keep on stirring and turning your chicken in order to make the onions brown but for me my onions are now well done so i'll go on and add the garlic and ginger i really love garlic and ginger so i, I use a lot like lots of it but you can add a little if you want for me i just love this so you keep on cooking stir and stir for for the flavors to get into the chicken for the spices you have to use just little you don't have to add a lot so i'll use my twist my teaspoon to measure what i'm using that is paprika and then next we have half spoon of garam masala and then half spoon of garlic for garlic you can use as lots as you want and then for thyme you add a little bit of it sometimes you have to add a little bit of water to your sufuria because it overheats then then you add half spoon of chimbundiro half teaspoon of chimbundiro half teaspoon of chimbundiro by the way chimbundiro is a mixture of these raw spices raw ingredients after that you keep on stirring 
wow can't wait to get to the end of this you check on your heat make sure your heat is favorable and then now we are going to add some tomato paste I like cooking with my tomato paste and uh, and the raw tomatoes but it is optional you can add the tomato paste alone or you can add both just add according to your liking you don't have to measure this because this is literally tomatoes then you add your tomatoes now is it tomatoes tomatoes okay add them up Let's keep this going. Just keep on stirring, making sure the the juices like they just blend in together with the chicken. Whoa! Now this is the real traditional chicken. Apparently, for us, we use the same sufuria, by the way, because okay, to us we have this statement that we say like we don't want to transfer the juices to another sufuria. So, because we used it for boiling and all the juices are on this sufuria, we prefer to use it for the rest of the cooking. But you can change if your sufuria, you, if you wish to. It's optional. But if you want all the juices, just use the same sufuria, darling. Yeah. Keep on and keep on. Are you ready? Are you ready? Without you, Whoa, you don't know what's coming with that. Myself, wow. Just amazing. Oh, After that, you add your paprika. Your pili pili ho ho. Mwanga za pili pili ho ho. Because all of me. Since we are finishing up, so we just have to add our coriander leaves for organic this is the last step guys and you can really see how this tomato paste changes your your stew it really makes it brown so you just keep on stirring for the corianders to get to every corner and so we are done this is how you prepare your traditional chicken so easy it's time taking but it's worth it guys trust me because all these juices are all for you Thank you guys for watching. Kindly please remember to subscribe. Just click on the red button, like and share. Till next time, it's your girl Petit Empress. Bye bye.